What's up guys? In this video, we're going to break down a practice question about pulmonary function testing. Are you ready? Let's go! Before we get into the question, I just want to take a quick second to tell you about our Practice Questions Pro membership. How would you like to get new TMC practice questions like the ones in our videos sent to your inbox every single day? Well, the good news is now you can. Going through a new practice question every day may sound like a small thing, but over time, the knowledge that you'll gain will add up to huge results. So if you're interested in getting our premium practice questions delivered to your inbox on a daily basis, check out the link below at the top of the description. Now let's get into the practice question. Your patient has an FEV1 to FVC ratio that is lower than predicted. Her forced vital capacity is also lower than normal as well. What is the most likely cause of these findings? A. A restrictive lung disease. B. An obstructive lung disease. C. Combined obstructive and restrictive lung disease. D. Normal test results. The correct answer is C. Combined obstructive and restrictive lung disease. Let's break this one down. The patient has a reduced FEV1 to FVC ratio, which certainly tells us that an obstructive disease is present. But they also have a reduced FVC as well. This tells us that they have a restrictive disease as well. So, combined, this patient has both an obstructive and restrictive disease. The correct answer is C, combined obstructive and restrictive lung disease. Alright guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you in the next video. And as always, breathe easy my friend.